ready for the most exciting fight sport in the world. Here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium, we have satellite link up to 168 countries and live internet streaming worldwide. ขอต้อนรับคุณผู้ชมทุกท่านเข้าสู่การถ่ายทอดสดรายการต่อสู้ระดับโลกส่งสัญญาณภาพผ่านดาวเทียมไปยัง168ประเทศทั่วโลกจาก Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยาและสามารถรับชมผ่านอินเทอร์เน็ตสตรีมมิ่งทั้ง Max Muay Thai Mobile App ได้ทั่วทุกมุมโลกและขอนำทุกท่านเข้าสู่รายการ Max The Champion Muay Thai และพบกับพลิกรชายและเดียม Max Muay Thai สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the most exciting fight sports in the world. Tonight is the champion Muay Thai. กราบสวัสดีคุณผู้ชมทางบ้านทุกท่านนะฮะเรามีนัดกันแบบนี้ทุกสัปดาห์กับรายการเดอะแชมเปี้ยนมูไทยตัดเชือกทุกวันเสาร์เวลา18นาฬิกาแบบนี้ทางช่องอามรินทีวีเอชดีช่อง34และอยู่กับผมครับกายวรวัตรและนี่คือพี่เบียร์แม็กซ์มูไทยและก่อนอื่นนะฮะต้องขอขอบคุณน้ำแร่ธรรมชาติตราช้างครับและ M150 เพื่อพลังฮึกฟูของกิลาไทยอะไรครับดูชมครับวันนี้มีนักชกต่างชาติหลายคู่ด้วยกันมีนักชกจากสปปลาวนักชกจากฮ่องกงนักชกจากออสเตรเลียซึ่งคนนี้มีดีกรีเป็นนายแบบด้วยแล้วก็นักชกจากประเทศเมียนมาเอาใครเป็นใครไปเช็คชื่อกันก่อนเลย Alright ladies and gentlemen and show fighters in today program in the first fight a l o u c h i n warrior ฟังโค้งเล็กเสือบาสมวยไทย Take on ตีเล็ก EUM มวยไทย The second round we have Jackie Chan from Hong Kong What's up City Chai p e p เรื่องฤทธิ์ And coming up next in the third round an Australian warrior Broken Stewart Take on นุชวัตเกียรตินาวี Coming up next the fourth round we have รุ่งโอบนสอสีทู What's up วุฒิเดชอูนิคมน่านท่าว่างผา And coming up next in the fifth bar, our co-main event, a Myanmar's warrior, Una Koko versus Kao Karat Sosak Sayam. And the sixth bar, we have Pet Sake Po, Prajan Si, Wasat Khun Khun Noi, Je Phon Ba Chai Khong, Park Phanang. เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับเดี๋ยวเราพักชมสิเนี่ยใจสักครู่เดียวเดี๋ยวกลับมาเริ่มกับมวยคู่แรกนักชกไทยจะกับนักชกจากสปปลาวในรายการเดอะแชมเปี้ยนมวยไทยตัดเชือกแชมเปี้ยนมวยไทยตัดเชือกแม่เดอะแชมเปี้ยนมวยไทยเอาละฮะเรามาเปิดหัวเกมความมันกันเลยดีกว่าด้วยมวยคู่ที่หนึ่งศึกไทยปะทะสอปอปอลาวรูปิกน้ำหนัก54กิโลกรัมครับนักชกในมุงน้ำเงินคนนี้มาจากสอปอปอลาวสังกัดค่ายเสือบาสมวยไทยเจียวและที่สำคัญมันที่จะดูสิยูลาวเชนวอริโอฟิชิ่งอวบเดอะบลูคอนเนอร์และที่สำคัญมันเลือกเชรัตบอฟังโค้งเล็กเสือบาสมวยชาชมเปี้ยนชมเปี้ยนมวยไทย Ladies and gentlemen introducing your l o u c h i n warrior fighting Now up the blue corner, he's running at the boss boy Thai Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, Fan Kong Lek, the boss boy Thai. และนักชกในมุมแดงครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดชัยภูมิสังกัดค่าย EUM มวยไทยเจียม And his opponent in the red corner, your Thai warrior. He representing Thai Phum Province. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Thailand. E U M Muay Thai. Introducing your Thai warrior fighting 
of the Red Corner, representing Chayapoon Province. Ladies and gentlemen, they let you a boy time. Welcome everybody to the Max Muay Thai Stadium in Pattaya where we're all set for our Saturday night feature, the champion. We have six fights as usual on the card tonight, some very nice matchups as well. Few international matches, Thailand versus Laos, Thailand versus Hong Kong, Thailand versus Australia, and Thailand versus Myanmar. So uh, our first fight tonight sees Thailand take on Laos. So the first match is at 54 kilos. Introducing first a fighter fighting out of the blue corner. He goes by the name of Bang Kong Lik. So Bat Muay Thai. His real name is Yok Thai In Tuong. 23 years of age, 163 centimeters tall. Has a total of 41 fights, 26 victories, one draw, and 14 losses. In his last three fights here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium, he's had a TKO loss in the first round to Rambo Pechinda. A points loss to Genka Longlian Sam Kok. And a points loss to Sir Chit Sokho. I'm not Jim. He trains the fights out of Silbat Muay Thai in Chantaburi province where he's trained by Bat Tasoi Dao and he's managed by him as well. In the red corner, Tilek Iyuem Muay Thai. Tilek's real name, Jira Yut. Puang Kuntot. He's 20 years of age. He's from Chayapum in Thailand's northeast, Isan region. 170 centimeters tall, had 49 fights, 30 wins, one draw, 18 losses. Last four fights, the max a points win against Panpet Paul Prawit. A second round TKO win against Yod Degree, Longlia Mong Payalea Wittia. A first round TKO win against Lam Kong Lek, Sir Bat Muay Thai Jim from Laos. And a points win against Mankon Kao Chor Chat Chai. Trains and fights at the EUM Muay Thai Jim in Pattaya. Trained and managed by Eka Pop Saw. So one fighter with a long winning streak and another fighter with a long losing streak. Yeah, but that, you know, you can never really t totally take those kind of uh, statistics to heart, can you? Absolutely not. I mean, we've seen it so many times here at Max and other shows as well. You know, uh, styles make fights, different fighters make fights. You know, sometimes you might have been on a bad run streak, run of fights, but you just meet that next opponent who's just made for your style, you know. Absolutely. I mean... If, if you go on a long winning streak, obviously your opponent is just going to get better and better and better. Yeah, that's right. That's another uh, another thing. You know, he could have a, a, a bigger losing streak, but he could be a degree above in terms of ability as well, experience. So, it's always best to let the fight pan out and unfold as it goes along. Just going for the high kick there, T Lek. Good hold there from the Lao fighter. Decides to hold on to his opponent right away. I'm not sure that's a good idea, especially when um, he's the more shorter fighter, as you can see. And of course, we've seen Fang, Fang Kong Lik fighter a few times. He's not really known as a clinch and knee fighter. Yeah. Good body kick there from the blue corner. So he has to make a decision. Does, as a smaller fighter, does he go in and starts clinching up his more... Definitely more stronger opponent within the clinch, or does he stay on the outside yeah. and fight the, the opponent with the longer reach? Sharp right hand there from the blue corner. You could say it's been a patient round so far yeah. for Delic. Sitting back a little bit more and even his opponent, yeah. taking things a little bit easier. Have to be careful with that sometimes here at Max. We do prefer the fighters to push forward and be aggressive. And let's not forget that um, the Lao style we're used to seeing here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium, especially from a fighter like Lao Star, or the Lao style, so, so to speak, on the ring. We're not really seeing that from Fang Kong Lik at all. But there's that low kick with a good block there and a good high kick there from T Lek. But a return as well from Fang Kong Lik. Almost in a stalemate here. Another good block from Fang Kong Lik. He's not making too much of an effort to push the pace here. Another good push kick there from Fang Kong Lik. Man. The champion, Muay Thai!
second round of action. So you see Ban Kong Lek, so Bat Muay Thai from Lao. Blue corner, of course, the more shorter. Wider, but the more aggressive one as well. And here in the red corner, the Lek Yuen Muay Thai from Thailand. Wider with a bigger reach and a longer win streak so far. Of course, here are some of the replays, some good kicks shown from both fighters, however, still quite slow. Both fighters really need to push the action here in the second round. Like the Muay Thai Stadium. So far, good elbow and a good knee there from the fighter in the red corner, Dilek. Dilek just trying to fight his opponent on the inside as well, but getting, pulled, getting his head pushed back. There, and a nice elbow from the Lao fighter. Good knee there from the blue corner. Very determined here. Fang Kong Lek. Fang Kong Lek. Fang Kong is basically he's, uh, across the Kong or the Mekong River, which borders Thailand and Laos. Yeah, I mean, don't be surprised to have um, a Lao fighter named something to do with the Kong. Yeah, it's <laughs> Fang Kong Lek. Or there's, there's, a, oh, there's, there's a hell of a, a lot of the fighters that will use that. Uh, the Mekong River reference in, yeah. in the name when they fight in Thailand. So nine times out of ten, I guess, if, if there's that Kong name there. Yeah, or Fang, Fang Kong in yeah. particular, there's quite a few of them. Yeah, Tao Fang Kong maybe. And it just basically, I mean, nine times out of ten, they could be from Lao. A little wardrobe malfunction there for the Thai fighter, T-Lek. Sharp elbow there from T-Lek as Fang Kong Lek is pushing in. So big big nice knee there from Fang Kong Lek. Strong lock from him here. Good knees from Fan Kong Lek. He Lek trying to fight his way out of trouble here. <laughs> you can see just now, um, not sure if it was on your screens, but um, Eka Pop, the trainer of the Lek, just giving his, his he's, he's a nudge. Very, very animated, <laughs> Eka Pop. <laughs> of course, Eka Pop used to be a fighter here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium, but uh, he was a big name at uh, 75 kilos. He was uh, quite a scary prospect for a lot of the foreigners that kind of were making their debuts here at Max. Oh, absolutely. I mean, those, uh, those ferocious hands. power in his hands and some hard kicks as well. His low kicks and, and his high kicks as well. And it's nice to see him training fighters now. Yeah. He's that knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, he had a huge amount of fights in his career, over 300, I think. The only thing is, uh, his chin didn't quite match his punching power, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> so you, but you always got the spectacular with that whenever he fought. Absolutely. Either him knocking someone out or getting knocked out himself. Well, that's towards the end of his career. That's the best way to see yeah. it. <laughs> Get elbows flying in now from both. I mean, what a second round. If you compare this to, to the first, you'd think it's a completely different match. You, you know, you know, always know you're going to get a good battle there. Thailand versus Laos, or Thailand versus Myanmar, Thailand versus Cambodia. There's a bit of pride at stake as well, always. And and you know, I'm not belittling Thai fighters, but for the for the, for the other three countries, maybe, you know, there's a bit more hunger. I think they're they're, they're catching up in terms of development. So yeah. there's a real you can get a sense of determination with them sometimes. End of round two. Man, the champion. Muay Thai! And now coming into our third and final round of our first fight of the evening. Ban Kong Lek from Lao there in the blue corner and there you see Sri Lek Uwe Muay Thai from Thailand in red. Chaya Boom versus Lao. Match so far, 54 kilos, especially in the second round. Just non-stop action there and you see some combinations thrown there from Ban Kong only to be met with an elbow. Also some big elbows there thrown from D-Leg. Very good back and forth fair. You expect nothing less from this third round here. Good, knee one match. good knees there thrown from both fighters and straight down the middle there for d -Leg. Huge knee down the middle once again from him. Those side knees of Fang Kong Lek. Still getting through to his opponent. There from D Leg and not just getting pushed back by Fang Kong Lek. You see the hunger that the determination he has to win this fight. D Leg also using his size to his advantage, and why not? Long knee there from T Leg, bringing it over the guard of uh, Fang Kong Lek. Fang Kong Lek 
Very determined. Oh, big elbow from in there. Another hard knee from him. A very good lock there from Dilek. He's pushed back now. Dilek, but using those long arms to keep his opponent at distance. Another huge knee thrown from him and a huge elbow. Good spirit there shown from Pan Kong Lek, though. Still staying in the fight, still staying on his feet. Trying to meet his opponent head on. Very good knee down the middle once again from D Lek. I mean, Pan Kong Lek, he just can't take too many more of these knees. Oh, big knee there from the red corner. Just bending his Lao opponent. Now he just has to avoid those knees like the, the coronavirus. Taking way too many shots down there. Going to the body there. He looks at that, those body shots hurting a bit there. And that hard straight right to the body from Fan Kong Lek. Big elbow from him there. And you're right, he's slowing down now, T Lake. A, a couple of body shots here. You can see him almost like a big gasp for, it, for air there. And almost losing his balance at the same time. balances before at all when the seven, when the referee separated that looked like he almost went off his feet oh, elbow again from Fan Kong Lek T-Lek pushing in but not really doing much 50 seconds left 50 seconds left is a long time for any fighter is tired yeah when you're when you're gasping for air and you know you just can't wait to hear the bell it, it, it can seem like an eternity absolutely and I think it seems like an eternity for T-Lek right now Fan Kong Lek though still fighting with a lot of spirit Good knee there from the red corner. Be like, of course, the more taller fighter, and why not use your size to your advantage? Good knee there from the red corner. Oh, hard elbow from Blue. Another shot there to the body, and Dilek showing. Big punches from Dilek again there. Nice knee from him there as well. Almost at the bell here. Wow, and Dilek showing so much weakness there. I'm not sure why Funk Hong doesn't attack the body more often. Yeah, it's about to end the final round. All smiles now are there, particularly from T-Lek. Very glad to hear that bell, I think. <laughs> Fan Con Lek, a big grin on his face as well. He looked, so, he looked like, to me, like he could have gone on for another round or two there. It's not the same as well. Let's see some of the replay from that final round. Good news there, thrown from the fighter in the red corner. And some good body shots too from Fan Hong Lek. One could argue that he should have done it more often, but another big knee there that bended Fang Hong Lek. Right to leg. It'll be interesting to see how the judges will score this one here. Yep, we will find out very shortly. gentlemen, the final prize! Max Moy Thai Facebook page, page official my. Tit tam tarang kan kheng kan le pon kan ta sin tuk rai kan. Jak sana Max Moy Thai Stadium Pattaya. Rap chom kan thai thao sot Facebook Live. Thang ban yai thai le pasang kli. Got like, got tit tam Max Moy Thai official day le wan ni. Fighters for blue and red corner. Max Moy Thai Facebook page. Sat kan man kada ni nak chom taku rap kan palai kola ha. Pan ba. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, for the winner, Raw Summer! Moe Guni Summer and Cup. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back on shot break. Next fight, Thailand versus Hong Kong. And this is the champion, Muay Thai, Tat Chu! Man. The champion, Muay Thai! All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the champion, Muay Thai, Tan Chu! Khu Thi Song of our day, this is the day of the day of the day of the day of Hong Kong. รูปิกน้ำหนัก60กิโลกรัมนักชกในมูลน้ำเงินครับคนนี้มาจากประเภทฮ่องกงสังกัดค่าย PK แสนชัยมวยไทยเจียม A relative San Germain introducing your Hong Kong fighter he representing PK San Chai Muay Thai Gym ladies and gentlemen let's hear it for Jackie Chan
ladies and gentlemen, introducing your Hong Kong warrior fighting our the blue corner is running at PK Santai Muay Thai Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Chan! เรามาดูนักชกจากฝั่งไทยของเรากันบ้างดีกว่านะครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดพัทลุงสังกัดค่ายฟิตแลบมวยไทยสงขลาเจียม And his opponent in the red corner, your Thai warrior. He represented Patalung Province. He's running at Phillip Muay Thai Song Kla Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for City Thai Pet Rung Rip. Introducing your Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He represented Patalung Province. He's running at Fit Lap Muay Thai Song Kla City Thai Pet Rung Rik. And here we go. Moving on to our second bout of the evening. It's a matchup between Thailand and Hong Kong, set at 60 kilos. Introducing first of the fighter in the blue corner from Hong Kong, Jackie Chan. With a total of 27 fights, 19 wins, and 8 losses. 168 centimeters tall and is 32 years of age. His total, or excuse me, in his last four fights, he's had a points loss to Chanasit Shaw Sangbapai, a points loss to Si Nin Singlum Hatana, a points loss to Pet Satit Sok Jot Toy Pad Liu, and a points victory against Siti Chai Pet Ogluan Lit. He trained the fights at a PK Sanchai Muay Thai Gym in Bangkok, where he's trained and managed by Anand Chantip. His opponent in the red corner, Siti Chai Pet Ruangrit. Siti Chai's real name, Siti Chai Tem Ram. He's from Pat Talung, Pat Lung, in the south of Thailand, Kuan Kunun province. 36 years of age, 157 centimeters tall. He's had 82 fights, 55 wins. Song, uh, song draws? Oh dear. <laughs> Two draws and 25 <laughs> losses. It's been a long day. Last four fights at max, a points lost to Khao Tam. Khao San, sorry, Sik Kru Tong from Laos. A points lost to Sang Pet. Jao Mu Kaset Hot. A points lost to Yot Anu Cha, Paul Pro Jan Si. And a points lost to uh, his opponent today, Jackie Chan from Hong Kong. Trends and fighters of Fit Lab. Muay Thai Song Kla in Song Kla province in the south of Thailand, trained by Kunan Tor by Kundot, Kundun, and Sip Tor Kachong Kiet Parom Jan. We actually commentated or called the, the last fight they had here. Um, You've got a Thai. lot better memory than I have, I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> Jackie going in with a good right, uh, left to the body there, solid left kick, some good hands from Jackie. Well, his opponent fired up here though. Oh, definitely. City Chai. Big fan of Jackie Chan. Oh, yeah. I mean, you've got to love that Cartman tattoo as well. Oh, no. I'm talking about the movie star. But. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I like this Jackie Chan as well, but I grew up on the Drunken Master. and ah, he's, he's, he's Jackie Chan, the actual fighter in the ring right now. Yeah. Then I'm going to be the Drunken Master later on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> After your favorite team, I'm not going to say who loses. Careful now. You might be punched on by the <laughs> Good body shots here from Jackie. Locking that low kick well. Sharp right, left of the body there from... Uh, no, it was a right, I'm getting confused with the southpaw and orthodox. Jackie in the southpaw stance. Hard low kick there from City Chai. City Chai attacking that back leg of Jackie. Some good punching from Jackie. Hard elbow from him there. Oh, Jackie, Jackie Chan's really doing well in this first round. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's, he's received some heavy blows from City he's Chai given, early on. Given quite a few back as well though. Absolutely. He, He's taking them well. Every single shot that City Chai has um, bought to him, he's taking them very well. Now he's giving a lot back again. That, that's what you should do here in the Muay Thai ring. Another good shot there from Jackie Chan. Pushing his opponent back. That one, I think. Coming back in with a right hook after that as well. Looked like he stunned City Chai a little bit there. Yeah, forced City Chai to move back and once again. 
good low kick there and almost tripping Sidichai there. Sidichai coming forward now. Seeing that Jackie Chan made one little mistake and tried to take advantage of it. Kick, a good evasion there from Sidichai. Sharp, straight right from Sidichai there. Going for the low kick again. Jackie back with some strong punches though. I'd like to see how Jackie block more of those low kicks. Though, but what, a, what an interesting It's a bit one-dimensional though, isn't he, Sidichai, so far. The low kick. Yeah, the odd punch, but he's, he's, he's trying to tap that back leg. But Jackie Chan's doing a good job of soaking him up so far. Big elbow from Jackie again. Ooh. Oh, three elbows in a row landing there. Looks very composed, picking his shots well, Jackie. Can't really say the same thing for his opponent right now, City Chai. He's being quite. I mean, you can see what's coming from him. End of round. Have a look, one. Man, the champion, Boy Tai. Here we go. Coming into the second round of action for our second bout of the evening. Jackie Chan from Hong Kong in the blue corner and City Chai Pedrung Rit in the red. 60 kilos for this one and so far so good for Jackie Chan. I have to say so, remain very composed and taking um, City Chai's low kicks quite well. So some heavy elbows as well. I'm not sure how City Chai managed to take, take them and still stand, stand on his feet. He's a very tough fighter. Really got to push the pace now, City Chai. And usually we see Ty's pushing the pace here. Round and good low kick once again, but City Chai going into the clinch. And now City Chai continuing to move forward once again, as he should be doing. Good knee thrown by him. Two kicks, three kicks in a row for Jackie Chan. Very well done for him, but moving back quite a lot now, whilst. His opponent, Sidichai, continues to move forward. It's a barrage of offense. Some good hands there shown from Jackie Chan. Oh, wow, good low kick there. and Very dangerous position for Sidichai to be in. But a good throw there from Sidichai. Very aggressive start for the Thai fighter here in this second round. Looking like he really wants to avenge that loss that he had to Jackie Chan in the last encounter, of course. Knee straight to the back by City Chai. City Chai continues to move forward. Some, some good punches once again by Jackie and those elbows really pushing his opponent back. Another big elbow there thrown by Jackie Chan and City Chai still moving forward. What a motor on this fighter here. Straight down the middle, that knee from Jackie Chan. Of course, the knees that go straight down the middle, those are the ones that hurt the most. Takes so much out of a fighter. And a combination there and a good throw from City Chai once again. City Chai absolutely not stopping at all. And now you see that Jackie Chan trying to do the exact same thing, just trying to take City Chai off his feet, trying to throw him down to the ground. Some big punches though. Big shots now from City Chai. Sidichai hitting the mark yeah. this time. We saw there uh, Jackie trying to counter back, but missing a lot of his shots there. Oh, he's really slowed down now, Jackie Chan. In turn and lead in the clinch there. Sidichai on fire at the moment. And now Jackie Chan on the back foot. Back against the ropes. This we did not see from the first round. Here we go once again. Good right hand and uh, left hand there from Jackie. Hard knee from him. Complain about his power project there, but it's not really anyone's fault other than his own there. <laughs> I can't expect the referee to keep breaking the fight up just to sort that out. Exactly. And one of the instructions in the changing rooms is to put on your power jet properly. Yeah. Put it on Take tight. Shots from City Chai again there. Body shots as well. Throwing down Jackie now. Wow, what a round for City Chai. You've got to love his work rate. Big left hook from him there. Hard elbow now. And just those knees and taking the back of Jackie Chan. Not a position he wants to be in. 
End of round two. Man. The champion, Muay Thai. And what a round that was for City Chai. Pit Room Rit really pushing the action. Forcing Jackie Chan to move back. And hopefully the replay will show exactly what I'm talking about. Pit Room Rit with his beautiful knees there. Some heavy punches there. I mean, no defense from Jackie Chan at one point. Your third and final round. And some big punches there to start things off from Jackie Chan. Absolutely amazing and a big throw from City Chai. Wow, what a start. Big body kick from City Chai. Some big punches now. Looping overhand left from Jackie. Biting down on the gum shield there and letting the bombs fly now, Jackie Chan. Swinging for the fences. Absolutely incredible. He's getting turned there though into the ropes. I mean, this match here, I mean, they fought once before, this is the second time, there needs to be a third, I don't care who wins at this point. Yeah. What a fight. Big elbows here from Jackie. Hard low kick from City Chai, turned into the corner there. What a war we're seeing now. Big knees now from City Chai. As Jackie Chan tired himself out, you've got to ask that question. Another takedown there for City Chai, Pedrung Rit. Just taking his time to get up. Swing and a miss there, and what in the world is Jackie Chan doing? <laughs> Almost like he was offering him to kick his uh, backside, let's yeah. put it that way. <laughs> Low lock now from City Chai. But that's not, that's just not how Muay Thai works. If you ask someone to kick somewhere, you know, especially when on your backside, you'll probably get at the back of the head instead. Yeah, one, two there from Jackie, pushing back City Chai again. Big left hands again here. Oh, the left hook, that rocked him now. Almost. Right hook, I should say. Oh, yeah, almost took City Chai down. Beautiful I'm, takedown from City Chai there, though. I'm surprised he stayed on his feet there. That, and that right hook was right on the button there. Exactly. And managed to take his opponent down at the same time. Incredible. Real war we're seeing here, City Chai almost going out the ropes here after Jackie turning him in the clinch. Just over a minute to go here in what has been the fight of the night so far. Real rock and sock and back and forth brawl this has been. The momentum going back and forth between them all the way through the fight. City Chai in with the big knees now. Absolutely incredible, I mean, if, if we here at the Max Boy Tide we talk about heart so much, but these two showing, showing more heart than I've ever seen here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium. Unbelievable. Good low kick there from Sinich High. But I believe the pace is slowing down a little bit and both trying to touch gloves. Referee says no, action has to continue. And just like that it does. Big knee there for the fighter in the red corner. 20 seconds left of this match. Oh, what a spinning back elbow there from Jackie, but shaken off there by uh, the red corner. Maybe he just fell and just grabbed onto Jackie Chan. Yeah. <laughs> There's about to end the final round. Incredible. There's Jackie Chan showing his respects to City Chai Pedrung Rit. What a war these two just went through. And by that, you'll see by in, in the replay just some back and forth swings from. Both fighters, but Jackie Chan starting that round very, very strong. Of course, the pace towards the end slowed down a little bit because both fighters gave it their role. Both so exhausted. Let's see what the judges have to say for this one here. It's time for Fight the Price. Max. 
สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ No prize. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of actions, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner. Blue corner, Jackie Chan. คุณผู้ชมครับคู่หน้าห้ามพลาดศึกไทยปะทะออสเตรียเดี๋ยวก็นำมามันกันต่อกับรายการเดอะแชมเปียนมวยไทยตัดเถื่อนแม่ The Champion มวยไทยนั่นสินเจ้าหน้าที่ Welcome back to the Champion มวยไทยตัดเถื่อและตอนนี้นะฮะเราเดินทางมาถึงคู่ที่3ของค่ำคืนนี้ศึกไทยปะทะออสเตรเลียรูปิกกับน้ำหนัก67กิโลกรัมครับนักชกในมูลน้ำเงินคนนี้มาจากประเภทออสเตรเลียสังกัดค่าย FA Group g e m All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing your Australian warrior fighting our the blue corner. He's running at FA Group g e m Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for b r o g a n Stewart. Introducing your Australian warrior fighting. Our the blue corner is running at FA Group G. Brogan Stewart. เรามาดูนักชกในมุมแดงกันบ้างดีกว่านะครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดสงขลาสังกัดค่ายเกียรตินาวีเจม And his opponent in the red corner, your Thai warrior. He representing Song Kla Province. He's training at Kia Na Wei Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Nuti Wat Kia Na Wei. Introducing your Thai warrior fighting out of the red corner. He represented Khom Song Kla Province. Ladies and gentlemen, Nuti Wat Kiyadawi. And here we go, coming into our third bout of the evening. It's about set at 67 kilos between Thailand and Australia. Introducing first the fighter fighting out of the blue corner. From Australia, Rogan Stewart, 29 years of age, 178 centimeters tall. He's got a total of 58 fights, 42 wins, two draws, and 14 losses. In his last four fights here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium, he's had a TKO victory in the first round against Pedit Suk, 44 man. A points loss to Abbas Malrajapuk. A points loss to Famai Singha Decha Jim, and a draw against Champ. Extra cold film. He trains the fights out of FA Group in Bangkok, where he is trained by Diesel FA Group. His opponent in the red corner, Nuti Wat Giat Nawi. Nuti Wat, real name, Nuti Wat Prida. 22 years of age, he's also from Song Kla in the south of Thailand. 175 centimeters tall, he's had 76 fights, 60 wins, one draw, 15 losses. Last three fights at Max, a bit of a mixed bag. A first round TKO win against Hin Chai or Sam Suk. First round TKO loss to Sui Yai Misaka won. And a third round TKO win against Tepabut Sit Phu Tok Kong. Sorry. Trends of fight to the Vietnam Wee Gym in uh, Chom Breeze in Saturday, is it? The naval base, I think. That's and correct. It's trained and managed by Kong Thailand Vietnam South of Chom Ri Province. Man. Located. Is there a naval base in Sea Russia as well? 
Yeah. I, no, I don't know. Not, not that I remember. Shadow Hips, the main, the, 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 the well known one. The main, uh, main base in Thailand, in fact. Yeah. It's huge. Some big punches early on there from Brogan Stewart. Brogan Stewart yeah, taking the fight to Nicky Watt here. He's got some power in his hands, Brogan. Sometimes there's a habit of looking for the shot bit too much, but when he does let them go, good knee there from him, just trying to get that glove in the face there of uh, Nicky Watt. Brogan, of course, has such an extensive martial arts background oh, as well. Oh, took a right hand there from Nicky Watt. Oh. Big elbow as well. That's got Brogan's attention. Where in the world did that come from? In the end of his arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the middle of his arm, technically. No, no. I'll, I'll, I'll. I was actually speaking of what's going through Brogan's mind at that yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you're right. He, 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 he would have been, uh, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sarcasm is just dead. screaming to come out there, though. Then, of course, it's Rob there going, oh, yeah, I did it was all before, Brogan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sarcasm, I can't resist it. <laughs> <laughs> English sarcastic look. Good knee there from Brogan. Very well here in the first round. He's trying to push his opponent back. And oh, big elbow, big elbow there. again. Big body kick from Brogan there, though. I'm not sure how Nutty what manages to sneak these elbows in so well. Yeah, he just we need to tighten his guard up a bit, um, uh, Brogan. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it just has Dance to be done. a little bit lower time. But saying that, Nutty Watts, his guard is not the, the most watertight looking himself, but he's just been that quicker to take advantage of it. We've got a cut here. Yes. A nasty cut above the uh, right eyebrow of uh, Bogan there. Yeah, it will be interesting to see what the doctor says here. I mean, we've never seen Brogan stop by a cut here at the Maximo Thai Stadium, I don't think. No, and Dr. Dr. Lenny, go yes. on there. Is that going to affect it? He's, he's a model as well. Oh, yeah. Brogan. Oh, so the last thing he wants is a cut. Just like Rob's job. I mean, if he had a face like yours, he probably wouldn't be so worried. But <laughs> <laughs> no. Us models, we, we're, we're quite temperamental about things like that. You didn't, you didn't let me finish. I said Rob was a model 70 years ago. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am a still a model, a senior fitness model. Now. Oh. Good knee there from the red corner. Some showmanship there from Mitty White. He's kind of got that awkward. You can see it. he's been trained by Kong Thailand, can't you? Absolutely. <laughs> Man. The champion, Muay Thai! Here we go. Coming into the second round of our third battle of the evening. Just well, Brogan Stewart soldiering on with the cut. Decided not to stop the match, so he can still go on. There's the man who caused it. Look at what he can now be. Of course, coming from the Navy, you'd expect him to be tough. And one of those elbows, not sure which one, caused the cut. Yeah. He's definitely got that Kong Thailand style about him, isn't he? Very showman like and uh, that kind of explosive, tricky, unorthodox uh, style about him. Uh, Wat. Oh, he absolutely does. And you can kind of see how his record is it like it is. Two stoppage wins, one stoppage loss. He's, he's, he's been caught a few times with Brogan, and uh, you know, it looks like a couple of good shots could make things interesting. Good body kick there from Wat. Absolutely left love kick. Yeah, his counter game is on top today. Yeah. Good knees here from Brogan. And another takedown there from the fighter in the red corner. The referee not liking what he saw there from the from the red court, of course. Almost needing to put it on the floor, and uh, that looked like a foul there. Beautiful knee there to finish from Nutiwat. Breathing a bit hard, though, Nutiwat. Oh, losing his balance almost there. The body kick from Nutiwat. Rogan throwing him down. Nutiwat just trying to smile it off. Yeah, it's definitely learned a thing or two from Gong Thailand. I can see that yeah. as well. Into the clinch, a good knee from Brogan. Hard elbow from him. Another good elbow. Definitely 
executed those shots well, but perhaps moving back a little bit too much now, no see what. But I am liking the style of Nutty White. It's definitely improved on his Oh, big game. jab there. Going in for the uppercut. Brogan with a sharp kick. Good elbows from Brogan there. That's what he needs to keep doing. Keep this pressure on. So just still trying to push the action, but receiving um, an elbow for his efforts there. And Nutty White just trying to go on the defensive. But Brogan overpowering his opponent, of course. He's still moving forward and receiving another elbow. Oh, big elbow again there from the red corner. Huge elbow there. And I believe that, oh, that might have opened another cut. Good knee there from the red corner. Hard right from Brogan. Oh, another sharp elbow. What I like about Brogan's style is that when he receives a hard shot, he doesn't scurry away. He continues moving forward, or he goes forward even more. Brogan trying to get forward again now. Needs to let the shots go quick. Can't afford to wait too long. Body shots now from Brogan. Big knee. An absolutely incredible pace and momentum there from Brogan Stewart. Just continuously pulling his opponent, pushing him back. And at times you can see that this is just too smart for him. Good out cut there from the red corner. End of round two. Man. The champion, Muay Thai. To the third and final round. There you see Brogan Stewart in the blue corner. Interesting round for him, but a better round for the fighter right here in the red corner. Let's see, dead. Get now we, of course. There are some of the replays from what we just saw. Some big hook there from the fighter in the red corner. I mean, his style is just so similar to yeah. Go Thailand. Just awkward, you know, he's one of those fighters that can really frustrate and uh, make things difficult for the opponent. You've got to do, you know, Brogan's got to really get him fast and let those hands go. Not look for the shots so much and just really try and grind him down here. Because he looks tired. Nutty Wet. Nutty Wet, sorry. Yeah, but Brogan just can't play into his game and that's what I see a Right lot. hand there, big right again from Brogan. Nine right elbow now. Very good defensively though there from um, Let's see what, not sure how many of those shots actually got through. Big body shots now, big knee from Brogan. Oh, but off balance there. He's been so slick with that. A good knee there from uh, Nutty Wat. But a huge big knee, knee from again Brogan. There. Some big punches now from Brogan. Nutty Wat, the body shots. He might be going down now. Up there. Those body shots hurt him. Wow. Brogan, full momentum now. Good elbow from Brogan there, nice knee from him. Oh, slowed down drastically, you see what? Getting pushed around almost. He's blowing hard as well, sharp push kick, pushing him back there. And now right in the corner, and Brogan, of course, taking full advantage of this, and why not? Big knee from Brogan in the clinch. Oh, wow. And you can see Nutty Watt's quarter just urging him to move yeah, he forward. Looks very tired though, didn't he here at this point? Good elbow there, big body shots again from Brogan. Started off the match so well, but at this point, things have changed drastically, of course. And of course, if you move too much back, this is exactly yeah, what happens. <laughs> you just, uh, the referee just decided to finish the sentence for you there. You're going to get warned, you know, and we see it week in, week out. You can't afford to go back too much here at Max. And especially not in the last round. The last round, pretty much the money round. Here at the Max Motai Stadium, of big course. Big body shot again there. Big knee from Brogan there. Oh, oh big elbow oh, there oh. from Nuri, Nuri Wack. And once again, able to sneak that elbow through. A minute to go. He looks there for the taking, Nuri Wack, but he's got to land the shots, bro. Big elbow from him there. That hurt. Oh, and a huge knee. Bending down. Another just, good knee from Brogan. Just bending down far too much. I mean, he's lucky that didn't go to his head. I'll tell you he right looks now. exhausted now, Nuri Wack, and he's still got 30 seconds left. Another big knee from Brogan there. 
again. Really what, just oh. falling down the, their sign there, the legs are tired. You know, that's a clear sign as ever you're going to get when they fall over that easy. Absolutely, some spaghetti legs going on here for Nudiwat. Nudiwat right now just wants this match to be over. Body shot from Brogan again, again. Nudiwat just wants to go eat dinner with Gong Thailand right now. That's all he wants at this point. Yeah. Got nothing left here at this point. Big elbow from Brogan there. There's the bell to end the final round. And uh, he doesn't look so cocky now, does he? <laughs> he doesn't look so confident or arrogant or... No, no, no. I mean, all that is gone. The first and second round, we saw a lot of smiles, a lot of great techniques from Nudiwat, but then Brogan, I mean, full of energy. A lot of power as well. Elbow there from Brogan Stewart. Here we go, judges' position. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fighter prize. Max. สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook page page official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย official ได้แล้ววันนี้ No prize. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, for the winner, Blue China, Broken Stool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back after a shot break. This is the champion, Muay Thai, the two. Man. The champion, Muay Thai! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the champion, Muay Thai, the two! ผู้ที่สี่ของเราฮะรุ่งพิกระดับหนักห้าสิบหกกิโลกรัมนักชกในมุมน้ำเงินคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดอุบลราชธานีทั้งการค่ายรุ่ง
And another match he also mentioned here. He's had a points victory against Compet. So now care. He trains a fight out of Rungobon Gym in Uttaradit Province, where he's trained by Compet and he's managed by Mr. Sombon. Nirut Titmeti. Tonight, Toy. His opponent in the red corner. What's he dead? Or Nikom Nanta Wangpa. My eyesight's getting worse, the old man, unfortunately. <laughs> 20 years of age, he's 166 centimetres tall. He's from Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand. 64 fights for him, 47 wins, 2 draws, and 15 losses. Last four fights, a match a draw against Ken Karts or Rungwilai. Points win against Dick Robert, Luke Antonon. Points win against Sai Rung, So Chai Jiren. And a points loss to Kompets or Nake. Trains and fights at the Chiang Mai Muay Thai Gym in Chiang Mai. Trained by Mon Tri Duan Peng. And managed by Jira Chot. Wow, some big names tonight. Yeah, we'll move on. Uh, say there he's a manager tonight, Toy, for the uh, Eminent Air Gym in Bangkok originally. He really made his name. He's, now, he's got his own gym now up in uh, he's, he's based up in Uttara Dit in yeah. the north, north as well. He's a decent high level stadium fighter in his time, we'll move on. One definitely driving pretty far for this one here. Yeah. Remove on Eminent Air, his old name. Very uh, capable fighter. He's got some strong hands, Remove on. Good technical fighter, but he can bang as well. And the referee not liking what he's seeing from both fighters. I mean, he wants more action, and so so do we. It's three rounds here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium. You've got to push the pace. Good kick there from the fighter in the red corner. Would he dead? Southpaw kick going in well from Woody Dett so far. Rung Pet looking just to sulk up this early pressure. Good low kick there from Rung Obon. Good block there for that. Fighting in the, in the red corner once again. Yeah, left kick uh, again, finding the target there. Wow, some Big good hands. Right hand from Rung Obon there, that shook up Woody Dett there. Woody Dett looks like he's in trouble. Said before, he can bang with those hands, Rung Obon. I mean, they, they, when he won the tournament, he knocked out Pompu and, and uh, Kongpo. I mean, those, those two are, again, two very high-level stadium fighters in their time. Pompu, no, I'm sure he was a stadium champion at some point. I know uh, uh, Kongpo was a Thailand champion, if I remember right. That's right. Kongpo, the first half time, 49. Another big knee there for the fight in the red corner. Huge hands once again from the fighter in the blue corner, Rungo Bon. Not only are they powerful, those hands, but also very accurate too. Right to the body there from Pum Pum, from uh, Rungo Bon. I'm calling Pom Pum there. <laughs> the body there from Rungobon. End of round one. Man! The champion, Muay Thai! You see Rungobon, so I'll see through. Greens. A strange gym name, that's all seen through. It really is. I mean, <laughs> I'm still getting tr trying to get used to it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm more used to Rungobon Gym. Yeah, or Eminent Air, or whatever the other gym names he's used in the past. That's all seen through. I think that's uh, yeah. that's not that's not something I'm going to get used to anytime soon. <laughs> of course, there. Is it, work, is it sponsored by a lingerie uh, company or <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Got to ask Dorian Price about that one there. Yeah, well, no, no, Dorian Price is the makeup and lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> you need to ask him, that's his area of expertise. But of course, something we can't forget from the first round, Ruggle Bon could have, or maybe might have knocked out what, what, what's he did there in the first round. Leave him a huge punch down the middle. And you see there, what's he did trying to push forward. Trying with that looping overhand right there, Rungubon. Sitting back a bit though, he needs to be careful. That's some good knees from Woody Dett here. Throw down though from Rungubon. 
I mean, Woods Dead had, or Rungle Bonnie, excuse me, had to take Woods Dead down. I mean, it seems like he tried yeah. everything to do that. He's, he's not, doesn't look so comfortable when Woody Dead gets in the clinch and starts hammering those knees in, does he? Sitting back again here, remove on. Oh, beautiful uppercut, straight right there. They're coming so fast, I mean, you just don't know where they, when or where they, they're, they're coming from. There's hands from Rungle Bonnie. To the end of his arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm on a roll tonight. <laughs> Sharp left kick from Rungub on there. He's in the push kick. Again, sitting back a lot here. A little bit too much. I'm surprised yeah. the referee's not saying anything at this moment. He's not had a warning yet. And you can see one coming, couldn't you? Good knee there from Rungub on, stabbing it in. Halfway through the second round. Well, if Rungub on, if he keeps going back like this, there's no way he, he could pull one without a warning. Beautiful right kick there. The push kicks as well from Rungub on here. A bit more busier now. Good yeah. take down there from Rungobon. I mean, clever little step off to the side when it just take his opponent's uh, momentum away from him and use it against him even. I think that was one of the softest takes downs I've seen. Yeah, it's almost like putting a kid to sleep in his bed, you know. I might try that with my son later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now sleep. <laughs> Oh, there comes a warning. Uh, you, you, you called it earlier, and you know it, it was kind of inevitable that it was going to come. Accepting it with a smile there, Ramubon. He, he, he understood. And I'm pretty sure his corner understands that as well. Hard low kick from Ramubon now. Oh, and it's Woody Dead almost getting the off balance there. Good kick from Woody from uh, Ramubon there after he got up. Big knee there from Ramubon. That was a good push kick there from Ramubon. And then coming with a huge right hand. And that right hand and takedown sequence seemed like it just happened it all in one second. My goodness. Yeah, very, very fast. Very fluid. By the time he got his, you know, would, would he have received the right hand? He didn't even know he was getting taken down. That's a good knee there for the fighter in the blue corner. End of round two. Man. The champion, Muay Thai! Now going to the third and final round of action. There again, Bon Saucy through. Interesting round for him just now. Except for the fact that he got warned there. There is his opponent, Muti Red. Unikom Nan Kavangha. 56 kilos of this one. Mai versus Lidon, Northern Thailand versus North Eastern Thailand. Some good knees and good kicks there thrown from the fighter in the blue corner. But of course, Udida had his moments in the round. Here we go, third and final round. A big knee there and a good takedown for Udida. Now, Rungobon managing to stay on his feet, not getting taken to the ground so easily. Good knee down the middle from the fighter in the blue corner. Good knee there from Rungobon and just trying to take his opponent down, but takes himself down in the meantime. My goodness, good balance there from Mutidet. Mutidet pushing forward once again. Rungobon can't afford another warning, especially here in this third round. Good kick there from Rungobon. Beautiful push kick from him as well. And almost gets taken down again. Surely if the ropes weren't there for um, Rungobon, he wouldn't be staying up. A good knee there for the fighter in the red corner. Just trying to take Rungobon down once again, and he succeeds this time. He's uh, spent a lot of time on the canvas so far this round, Rungobon. Is that the sign that he's uh, tired and legs are uh, not? Keeping him up so easy here. Oh, one, thing. Knees from Woody Depp. one thing's for sure, he's definitely slowed down along this round. Open mouth there as well. Good body kick there, but getting scooped up and thrown to the canvas again there. Sharp push kick from Rubon. Good knee from him in the clinch. Some back and forth exchanges there. Big left up from Rubon there. 
and just moving back once again from the bottom. And um, surely he already knows that. That's not how you win matches here at the Max Motai Stadium. Oh, good body shot there from the red corner. Nice takedown there from Ramubon. Slowly getting up there with the dead. The good knee from Ramubon once again as he continues to chase down his opponent. Down the middle once again from Wuti Dead. Wuti Dead looking good in this round. Another good kick there from Wuti Dead. Rumobon still moving back though. He's, he's, he's tired here, Rumobon. He's already received. Woody Dead there. He's already received two warnings. Am I right? Uh, is it two or one? I'm not sure. I think maybe just the one. But he could be getting a second there or even a third if he has had two already. Will he get hammering the knees in again there? And we just can't afford another one, especially with 10 seconds remaining in this round. Trying to leave the shin across the body, slow up. Will he get there? Big kick from Will he get? Run Ubon. Gamesmanship moving there. It's about to end the final round. All smiles at the end, but he was hanging on there at the end there, Run Ubon, I think. Oh, he had to. He just looked too tired to do anything there in that round. So some of the replays there. Very impressive with them how Wizard Dead did in that last round. We kept pushing forward. Now, the cup show near the Bilun Lang one category is time for Fight Up Boys. สนับสนุนโดย Max Muay Thai Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max Muay Thai Stadium พัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max Muay Thai Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ No prize. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of actions, we go to the judges' scorecard for the winner. Draw, Sama. It's a draw, ladies and gentlemen. คุณผู้ชมครับช่วงหน้าอย่าเปลี่ยนช่องเด็ดขาดเลยนะฮะศึกไทยปะทะพาม่าสักครู่เดียวเดี๋ยวก็ได้ประมันกันต่อกับรายการ The Champion มวยไทยตัดเชื่อ Man The Champion มวยไทย All right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the Champion มวยไทยตัดเชื่อเอาละฮะในช่วงนี้นะฮะอยู่กับรองคู่เอกของเราในค่ำคืนนี้สึกไทยประทะพม่ารูปิกน้ําหนัก63กิโลกร,รมัมนักชกในมุมน้ําเงินครับคนนี้มาจากประเทศพม่าสังกัดค่ายสุภาพรเฟอร์นิเจอร์เจียม All right ladies and gentlemen introducing your man Miss Warrior fighting out of the blue corner he's running at Superboard Furniture Gym Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear red ball. Ula, go, go! Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your man Miss Wario fighting. I want the blue hunter. He's ready at Super Port Furniture Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, Una Go Go. Ladies and gentlemen, this one is from the city of Pisunolo, Sangat Kai So Saksayam Gym. เจ้าของฉายาขุนเข่าเมือง2แขวครับ opponent in the red corner your Thai warrior he represented p i t s a d u l o province ladies and gentlemen let's hear it for g a u k a r a t So s u k s a y o r Gentlemen, introducing 
your Thai warrior fighting our Blair Red Corner, a representing Pitsanulo province. Ladies and gentlemen, go Karat So Saksayam! And now here we go, our fifth bout of the evening, 63 kilos, Thailand versus Myanmar for this one. Introducing first, the fighter from Myanmar in the blue corner. He goes by the name of Al Koko. 28 years of age, 65 centimeters tall, has a total of 64 fights, 41 victories, one draw, and 22 losses. In his last four fights here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium, he's had a draw against Bunmak Pet Asila, a points victory against Tungmon Singha Decha Jim, a TKO victory in the first round against Bunmak Pet Asila, and a TKO loss in the first round to Bang Thai Sarja Lekun Suang. He trains and fights out of Supapon Furniture in Suratani, where he's trained by Fai Tai Lek and he's managed by Mr. Gowit. Opponent in the red corner, Gao Karat, so Saksayam. Gao Karat's real name. And fingers and thumbs here with the profile. His real name, Supot Saratong San. He's from Pitsanalok in the north of Thailand, 17 years of age, 167 centimetres tall. He's had 54 fights, 40 wins, 14 losses. Last three fights, a max a second round KO loss to King Ploy Ban Ramba. It's a third round KO loss to Super Bia So Wachara Jim. And a points loss to Omar Al Halabi from Lebanon. Trains and fights at a Sorsak Siam Jim in Pitsanalok, trained by Torsak. Sorsak Siam is managed by Tat Sorsak Siam. Wow, I'll never forget that. Um KO. Al Goko suffered in his last bout here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium. Yeah. Against Bang Thai. Wow. It took him a while to even wake up with that. He stretched it off of the uh, <laughs> the ring. Good little kicks there, showing for both fighters. Right? Yeah. You are correct, an elbow. So, so many fights are kind of bitter, but sometimes they can tend to merge into one. And Big massive fights, I can't always remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sure sign of the old uh, impending Alzheimer's, though, unfortunately, I think. No, I mean, that's my tie on every single day of the, the week, have you? Yeah. We, you can't remember everything now. <laughs> I'd be surprised if someone out there did. It's a slow start for an alcohol oh, match. Big elbow there, you spoke too soon, maybe. <laughs> I sure did. Trying to go for another one there. It was also shocking just to see Al Koko get knock, knocked out um, like that. Because we see him as a tough, tough fighter. Don't think we've seen him uh, ever knocked out like that, ever, at the Max Muay Thai Stadium. But then, uh, his last opponent, anyways, proved us all wrong. Bang Thai, of course, proved that Al Koko can be knocked out. In the knee there and trying to go for a takedown now, Goko. Very good Muay Thai technique from uh, the fighter from Myanmar. Good block of the low kick from Al Goko and trying to go for the body shots. Good knee there from the Thai fighter through the middle. Big right hand from Al Goko. Oh, sharp kick there from Al Karat. Staying too much back now, Al Karat. Big left hook from Al Koko. Sharp elbow from the red corner. Al Koko just seems like he's eating all the shots from Al Karat. Doesn't seem to have too much of an impact. Good right hand there yeah. from Al Koko. Galkarat looks bit. like he's in trouble there in that corner. A little bit fragile, a bit ragged at the moment. Galkarat, hard elbow through the guard there from El Coco. Good take down there from the Myanmar fighter. Oh, big left hook there. I mean, he's not the most technically, the most slickest or the most stylish of fighters, isn't he? But he's one of the toughest. <laughs> <laughs> The champion, Muay Thai! There 
WC. Second round coming up. Now Coco from Myanmar in the blue corner having a very terrific round. Can't fault him much at all. However, as according to the correct corner, Gauko Rat, having the best of rounds. Just taking far too many shots. Not giving much back. Go absolutely ruthless. Attacking Galgarat, trying to knock him out, in fact. And I think we'll see more of the same in this round for Alko Go. See if Galgarat proves me wrong. Right there from Alko Go. Taking the kicks, though. A very good punk from him as well. And um, Galgarat, not really sure what happened there. A bit of water maybe in the corner there. He's just lost his balance, isn't he? Some sharp kicks here from Kalkarat. But now... Oh, oh, Goku. Goku just going relentlessly with the hands here. Powering in punch after punch. Big left hook there. Hard overhand right. And so many... Hard elbow as well. He looked ragged again here, didn't he, uh, Kalkarat? So many shots are connecting as well from oh, Goku. Big elbows going in here. Surely, Galkarai can't get to use a fight like this. Well, he needs to watch in the clinch area in particular. His arms, they need to be strong in the clinch. He needs to make sure he doesn't leave any openings for uh, Alcoco to land those elbows in the clinch. Big oh, elbow there. There's no wow. need for a count there. What reactions are from the referee there? I mean, it's, it's, uh, if I didn't see it right in front of me, I wouldn't yeah. have believed it. <laughs> Unbelievable there from Al Coco. I mean, it's just, it's just like what we saw when, um, when Al Coco got knocked out. Yeah. Except the landing was a bit more soft there, thanks to the ref. Incredible. See that again on the slow motion here, but just as all Al Coco there, relentless from the start of the round. Oh, wow. And there it is, the referee. <laughs> Beautiful elbow right on the jaw there, no chance there. Oh, Gagorat's uh, defense just wasn't up to standard today. Has to be said. And as we said about before in the clinch there, the arms, it's very important that you, know, you position those arms well, especially in skin summer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final prize. สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ Max Muay Thai Facebook page. Ladies and gentlemen, after just two rounds of action, and the winner by way of technical knockout, Blue Corner, Uda Gogo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after the short break. Next fight, our main event. This is the champion, Muay Thai, Batu. The champion, Muay Thai! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the champion, Muay Thai, Part 2! และตอนนี้นะถึงเวลาที่คุณผู้ชมทุกท่านรอคอยแล้วนะฮะเพราะว่านี่คือคู่เอกของเราในค่ำคืนนี้รวมเป็นกระดับหนัก65กิโลกรัมนักชกในมูน้ำเงินครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดร้อยเอ็ดสังกัดค่ายปอประจันสีเจียม All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing your Thai warrior fighting out of the blue corner. He representing Roy at Province. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Pet Saket for Pra Chan Si. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing your Thai warrior fighting 
Out of the blue corner, he representing Roy and Province. Ladies and gentlemen, Pet Socket for Brajansi. และนักชกในมุมแดงครับคนนี้มาจากจังหวัดนครศรีธรรมราชสังกัดค่ายสอสมไม้เจียมดีกรีแชมป์มวยไทยตัดเชือกรือพิกัดน้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัม All right, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent in the red corner, another Thai warrior. He represents in Nakhon Si t h a m r a t Province. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear red for Khun p o n d o y Jaefun Ban Chai Kho p a k p a n a n g Introducing your Thai champion. He represented Nakhon s i t h a m r a t Province. He's running at Saw s o m a i Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, Khun p o n o y j e f u n b a n Chai Klong, p a k p a n a n g Here we go. Moving on to our main event of the evening. It's a war between Southern Thailand and Northeastern Thailand. Set at 65 kilos. Introducing first a fighter fighting out of the blue corner. He goes by the name of Pet Saket for Pa Jansi. Of course, his real name is r a k a s i t k o n g s i m a He's from Roy Ed Province, 22 years of age, 176 centimeters tall. He's had a total of 93 fights, 76 victories, and 17 losses. In his last four fights here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium, he's had a points victory versus King Pet Ba n a k s u l A points victory against Nung Takan x c i t y Kon Jim, and once again another points victory against Nung Takan x c i t y Kon Jim, and a points victory against Kum Sap No Anwat Jim. He trains a fight at a p r o p e r Jansi in Pejabun Province, where he's trained by Tong Je Sit p e t n a n a n and he's managed by Pitak Lasila. His opponent in the red corner, Kum Pon Noi J Fon. Ban Chai Klong, Park Panang. His real name, Ro Kip Islam. He's from n a k h o n Si t h a m a d a t in the south of Thailand. 28 years of age, 170 centimeters tall. He's had 105 fights, 75 wins, three draws, 27 losses. Last four fights, a max of points win against Pet Narong. t o n i o m Suk, a points win against t o n Pe, Jin Wit Ko Sang, a points win against Palapon Sit. Salang Patia and a points win against Reza m o m e n i from Iran. Trains the fact that a source on IGM in Bangkok, trained by Kontar Salat, managed by Jay Poo, b a n k a p i Max. Of course, uh, Kumponoi, the younger brother of the man who yields to no one, or Konme Yom Kon, Sexan or Kwan m u n That's one of the main reasons why he gets so excited every single time uh, Kumponoi fights. He's always got a similar style. As well to uh, Sex and his older brother. Oh, absolutely! And every single time, couldn't put noise here, and you know exactly who I'm looking for at Max Muay Thai Stadium. Yeah. Not here tonight, Sex and he's, uh, he's probably training hard. He's got the rematch with uh, uh, Gong Klai. Gong Klai, yeah. Any Muay Thai on the 10th, I believe, it, next week at o m n o i Stadium. Very quick rematch there for him. Yeah. A bit too quick for me, if I'm being totally honest. But that's why he's the man who yields to yeah, no that's, one. Uh, that's true. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, sometimes you got to think uh, for that, about the health, <laughs> taking too much. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. A, a tough fight from the last one. But his younger brother here, k u n p o n n o y I mean, he's he's someone who never takes a step back here at the Maximum Thai Stadium either. Both fighters, of course, with extensive wins records here at the Maximum Thai Stadium. A tight guard there, p i t z a k e t Couldn't put Noi though in his last match here. I don't think he took one step back. He very rarely does. He's got great stamina, great uh, determination. Hard left to the body there from him. I believe this is his um, first fight back since the COVID times for Couldn't put Noi. This is the COVID prig. Excuse me. Yeah, we're still in the COVID time, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but we have good left hand there from from p o n n o i Took me some time to think about that. Just glad to have some some Muay Thai back now. Yeah, a good body shot there from Kun p o n n o i Oh, 
huge elbow there from Petzaket. Trying to sneak that one in, and a good right kick from him as well. Good block there from right in the red corner, of course, Good Oh, you're going to hear that outside the arena. What a kick. Smack as it landed there. Going into the body there. Good point nine. from Kun Pun Noi. Yeah, it's really no surprises that uh, Kun Pun Noi and Sex have got similar styles. Yeah. But you tend to see that quite often in the Muay Thai world when it comes to siblings. Well, they've uh, often you know, grown up together and started at a very young age here. They're in the same gym, kind of uh, same teacher probably as well. End of round one. Man. The champion, Muay Thai! Here we go, coming into the second round of our main event of the evening. There you can see Petsa Gep. Some of the replays, of course, from that first round. Good defense from Petsaket. Block out the barrage of Kun Pun Noi. And as we know from Kun Pun Noi's style, this, uh, this round is going to be a, a bit more pacey. Yeah, good knee there from Petsaket. Pushing forward here, good kick from him. He's keeping a tight guard. Kun Pun Noi. Give him some hard punches. Good body Good shots there from Kumpanai. Hard elbow through the guard, but Petsaket looking for the elbow as well there, losing his balance. Not quite sure what happened there or what took Petsaket to the ground. Good knee from Kumpanai. Good kick there, right kick from the fight in the blue corner. Sharp elbow there from Kumpanai. Good body kick from him. Big knee, excuse me, from the fight of the blue corner. And once again, he's using that height, getting those long knees in here. Four times. That's going to be the cause some problems for Kumpon Noi, those long knees of uh, Petsaket. Yeah, four, four, five times in a row, in fact, from Petsaket. Just Hard now. left hand from Kumpon Noi, trying to push forward here. Big body kick from Kumpon Noi. Took one back, though. Of course, Kumpon Noi, not used to moving backwards, still trying to. Pushes his opponent back despite taking a barrage of knees from his opponent. Good block there from Kumpon Noi. Hard body shot again. Big right, left hand there, hard elbow. And a bit of a nick under the right eye of uh, Petsa get there. These are exactly the type of fights you want to see here at the Max Muay Thai Stadium. And when Kumpon Noi is in the ring, you're never disappointed. No. Body shot there. Good block there from the fight of the blue corner. Quite smart of him, Kunpo Noi. Received the, the high lock and the lock across the, the, the neck. And then manages to Big kick the from him there. Marching forward still. Hard oh, elbow again from Kunpo Noi. Nice knee back from Petsa Ket. Just won't stop moving forward. Oh, another hard straight left there from Kumpon Noi. I've been very impressed with the defense that Pitsaket has shown so far. Keeping his hands up, not letting them down. Oh, what a push kick there from Pitsaket. Another good knee, of course. Trading kicks now. To get looking over the clock, end of round two. Man, the champion, Muay Thai. And here 
we go. Final round of our main event of the evening. We're in the blue corner, you see Petsak yet. Robert Dancy. He's upon in the red corner. He's upon now. He's upon Van Chaikov, Van Milan. 65 kilos for this one. He's upon now, of course. The presser once again. Our Petsak yet. He's throwing some quality knees down the middle. to the clinch once again trying to throw some really really heavy knees one night trying to throw some knees back at the zone but just not as effective as the ones um, thrown from Petsaket good body shots there and good kicks as well from Petsaket big punches from from Pondoy here wow just a knee over the top there from the right in the blue corner Very good determination and pace for both fighters here. Good body kick there from Pornoy. And a good lock there from the fighter in the blue corner and another good knee down the middle. I mean, you could imagine so many people just losing their breath from those knees, but not yeah. Pornoy. An absolute machine. Oh, right, man, good body kick again now. <laughs> Big knee from Petsa, get there. Strong lock around the neck of Kumpanoi there. Kumpanoi back in with a couple of knees. Kumpanoi marching forward here. Really good hook there from the fight in the red corner and just trying to, trying to throw a huge kick on, um, on Petsa, get. But good defense from Petsa, get. Good knee from, from Ponoi, big knee from Petsaket again, a strong lock from him. I really liking the locks of Petsaket, every single time he puts Good Ponoi in there. Good Ponoi height and range of his, those long arms as well. Absolutely, and Good Ponoi just doesn't Oh, big left up. hand there, two big left hands. Petsaket on the back foot. Some big punches now from Kumponoi. Big knee through the middle from Kumponoi there. Kumponoi, man on a mission here. Taking a look at the clock, but also has a lot of time, 50 seconds. He never gets tired, Kumpanoi, that's the thing. He's big body punches from him here. I think that stamina. Long lock from Kumpanoi now, good knees from him. That stamina seems to run in the family. Yeah. Oh yeah, you very rarely see uh, Sexton run out of steam. Oh no. Big left again from Kumpanoi. Solid kick there from Petsaket, trying to get the knees in again. Hard elbow from Kumpunai, big knee from Petsaket. Kumpunai coming in with a big punches again there. Big elbow, of course. Down the middle, what's again from uh, Kumpunai? The Kumpunai pushing the action. I think Petsaket, open mouth. Yeah, he looks tired here, Petsaket. Can Kumpunai capitalize on it? Not got much time left. Good knees from him at the bell. There's about to end the final round. Both looking confident with their night's work there. Very impressive showing from both competitors here, and that's why they're in the main event. Here you see some knees shown from Kumpo Noy and a return from Petsaket. Very good back and forth action. It's going to be hard to determine the winner. And of course, that's all the time we have for you tonight. Waiting for the judge's decision. Same time next week. Have a good night, everyone. Song and man, Benny, we're not going to go away. The round one of our will be the group round. It's time for Fight the Price. สนับสนุนโดย Max มวยไทย Facebook Page Page Official ใหม่ติดตามตารางการแข่งขันและผลการตัดสินทุกรายการจากสนาม Max มวยไทยสเตเดียมพัทยารับชมการถ่ายทอดสด Facebook Live ทั้งบรรยายไทยและภาษาอังกฤษกดไลค์กดติดตาม Max มวยไทย Official ได้แล้ววันนี้ Fighters for blue and red corner. Max Muay Thai Facebook page. Oh, shock! Man, man, man! We're not going to hang. We're going to fight. Fighter, Kola, Ha, Panda.
All right, ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of actions, we go to the Georgia scorecard for the winner! Red Corner! Kun Pon Noi, Jeffon Ban Chai Klo Bong Panong! เอาละครับคุณผู้ชมครับวันนี้ก็หมดเวลาของการถ่ายและสดนะครับทางอาบรินทร์ทีวีหมายช่อง34กันแล้วพบกับผมนะครับเปียและกลายเป็นประจำในรายการเดอะแชมเปี้ยนมวยไทยตัดเชื่อเป็นประจำทุกคืนวันเสาร์นะครับเวลา18นาฬิกาถึง2ทุ่มตรงแบบนี้ครับเอาละฮะก่อนที่เราจะลากันไปต้องขอขอบคุณนำแร่ธรรมชาติตลาช้างและ M150 เพื่อพลังฮึดสู้ของกีฬาไทยสำหรับวันนี้หมดหน้าที่ของเรา2คนแล้วลาท่านผู้ชมไปก่อนนะครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ